I always thought with Jack that anything he could make, you know, once he was in control, anything, all the best things would happen. In this childish way, I thought I won't have to be afraid when I go to sleep at night or wake up. So strange these things that come back. It's like children waiting for Christmas or something, getting up and getting dressed, and you know, the snowstorm, all the excitement. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And everyone says, why didn't Jack kiss you after, which of course you would never do there, but you had to march out in such order that I was about eight behind him with women or something. And I so badly wanted to see him before the lunch, just to see him alone. I caught up to him in the Capitol, and, um, oh, I was just so proud of him. And there's a picture where uh, I have my hand on his chin, and, uh, you know, he's just looking at me, and there really were tears in his eyes. Suddenly a flash came, because I didn't think there was anyone there. And in the papers it said, wife chucks him under chin. I mean, that was so much more emotional than any kiss. Because his eyes really did fill with tears. Just say, oh, Jack, you know, what a day. Then we got in the car for that parade. You know, sort of not quite knowing how to wave. It's funny, uh, I used to worry about going White House. It'll be a goldfish bowl, the Secret Service. I'll never see my husband. I spent so much time worrying, would it ruin our marriage? It was like Cinderella and the clock striking midnight. Life with him was always so fast that it isn't until you look back that you see what happened when.